As in my logical fallacy, I have black or white. So what is the black or white fallacy? The black or white fallacy has been presented with two alternative states as the only possibilities when in fact there are more possibilities that exist. In layman's terms, it means pretty much that you're too stubborn to see any other options than the two you're currently presented with. It's a very dangerous and a very scary fallacy. The dangers of the black or white fallacy are that one, it can lead to a war, two, it endangers international relations, three, it hurts innocent people or bystanders, and four, it draws out any ongoing conflict. My black or white fallacy is on Kashmir, which is a contested territory between India and Pakistan. They have been fighting over this territory ever since 1947. And have been both been going at it for a very long time up until today. Now, for the black side, which is the Pakistani side, Pakistan says that they should get Kashmir because the area is predominantly Muslim, irregardless of anything else. Because they are Muslim, they should belong to Pakistan, which is a Muslim majority nation. Now, the white side, which is the Indian side, India believes that they should own Kashmir simply because of its history of them owning it previously, and they don't think they should give it up, regardless of any religion. They value history, and they're not willing to look the other way. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, the gray idea is instead of Kashmir being owned by India or Pakistan, why not let them become independent? The idea has been floated around, but either nation refuses to acknowledge even considering such a radical idea. Ultimately, it's a very simple fix. Both nations must at least try to work together rather than being stubborn and not consider the idea of letting the Kashmirian people decide for themselves and have a free independent election as to what is to happen.